Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com and today I'm going to do a quick video on using pages in Machine and how to edit them and how to create your own. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we come out with a few different machine tutorials every week. So pages are these helpful little rows of knobs that appear whenever you load up a new instrument in machine. And for anything in the reactor factory library or the um, other native instruments since, these are generally pretty well set up and pretty well uh, laid out. But a lot of other things don't fare nearly as well um, and especially the stuff in the reactor user library. So I'm going to use a synth from the top 100 reactor user library ensembles, uh, the Nord synth by Steven Becker, which you can find in the user library. And you can see by default these pages that load up are just kind of garbage. I mean the first one only has three knobs on it. Uh, you can't really even tell what the names of the knobs are. They all have the same name. Um, so they're just pretty much worthless. Alright, so fortunately we have the ability to delete these and create something a little more useful. So to do that, um, I have my mouse hovering over the button you need to press right now. And when we open up that view, we have two options. We have the automation view, which will allow us to um, send and connect various MIDI knobs to the knobs in our pages. And then we have the pages view, which allows us to edit and create new pages. So each page has this little X next to it once we're in this view that we can click on to uh, delete that page. So let's just delete all of these existing ones. They're not really useful at all. And once we're done with that, we can just press on this little plus button here to add a new page. And in order to add knobs to this page, we can use the Learn button, which is all the way on the right-hand side here. So once we turn that on, any knob that we turn is going to load up into our view. Uh, however, this won't work for all knobs. See, this one here is not adding, um, and neither is this one. And um, this is going to take a little bit of work inside Reactor to fix because um, automation IDs are something that most builders just pay no attention to and I personally don't either, so I don't blame them. It's kind of a obscure uh, thing to worry about while you're trying to program a synth. So let's talk for a minute about how to fix this problem. All right, so now I've got Nord loaded in Reactor, and in the side pane here, uh, choose the Properties tab and go to the Connect page. And then let's select the Ensemble by clicking any blank space in the uh, Building view here. Then um, let's look at the Automation area of the uh, Connect page in Properties. I like to set things up so that the base ID is uh, close to zero for the ensemble. And to do that, we can use the ID menu here and just uh, select the instrument up. And our base ID dropped to two, which I guess is fine. And then let's use the sort and compress IDs option. All right, so that just changed the max ID from 100 to zero, or to five, which um, means that Reactor is no longer going to send uh, or save 100 ID slots for the ensemble. When you can see that the maximum ID in use is zero, there's actually no automation IDs being used um, in the ensemble aspect of this particular reactor ensemble. Next, select the instrument itself. And then we can um, sort and compress the IDs here as well. 
And now you see we have uh, something interesting happen where the maximum ID is 100, but the maximum ID in use is 171. So basically, we have 171 things that want to be automation IDs in this uh, instrument, but we only are saving 100 slots to store them in. And that is kind of the same thing that caused our problem that we were having earlier, where we were unable to add certain knobs to our page because there was no automation ID available for them. So all we have to do is change the maximum ID here to equal the maximum ID in use. So I'll set it to 171. And then we can save our ensemble. OK, so back in machine, we can load Reactor up again. And uh, let's just load our saved copy of Nord. And um, you can see our pages haven't really gotten any more useful here. So let's just delete them all again and add a new one and we can turn learned on now every time we select a control it should add itself to the page and you'll see the names are still just junk here but we can fix that in a moment so i'm just going to add eight knobs and when we add the eighth knob the learn tab turns off and we can name the page by naming the um, with these little tabs above each knob. And we can name each individual knob um, by double clicking on it and um, double clicking on the name. And I'll admit, I don't remember what all of these do, so I'm not going to rename them all right now, but you get the general idea. Um, you can set up this whole set of controls so that it's a lot more sensible toward, for the end user to use. And of course, I'm stuck on a machine micro, but those of you who are lucky enough to have one of the additions with eight knobs can then uh, use the knobs to control the pages that you create. So you can create some pretty cool and interactive stuff doing this. All right, this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Uh, if you did, please check out our website and give a subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'll be back with a new machine tutorial next week.